Hello, these are very, very cute bread rolls, perfect for kids' birthday parties. Why? Because they are in the shape of pigs. You will need some plain flour, some sugar, some milk gently warmed, some melted butter, some salt and some yeast. First things first, we're going to put some plain flour into this mixing bowl. We're going in. And then I'm going to put in um, some yeast. How much yeast is that? Uh, I think it's three teaspoons. Bit of sugar, about a tablespoon. Pinch of salt. Very prepared, I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir. <laughs> I could give you a spoon. So fine. we're saving on washing up, it's fine, it's fine. So you mix all the dry ingredients together with your mini spoon, because we're <laughs> making mini rolls, it's all about the mini. And then I'm going to pour in some melted butter and some warmed milk. Stir it together, gently. With a bigger spoon. With a so. bigger spoon, yeah. So that is formed a very loose dough. You have to make sure your milk is neither too hot nor too cold, otherwise the yeast won't activate. But I think that looks pretty good. You could knead this by hand. I have to say, I've never done that. Biceps <laughs> aren't strong enough. I use my the dough hook on my thingy bob. Okay, so let's pop that on there. Just out of interest, how long are you meant to do it in that? I just do it until it looks ready. It's very unscientific in this house. <laughs> there we go, ready to go, it's noisy. So I think that's done. Let's just flick it back and have a look. Should be nice and soft and springy to touch. It's pretty warm actually. Yeah, that mm, looks really good. Lovely. lovely. So I'm just going to roll that into a little bowl, ball even. Stick it down there. Take my hook out. Can I grab some cling film? Mm hmm. Some people say you have to grease the bowl, you have to grease the cling film. Something I never enough. bother. <laughs> no. doesn't bother. And that is going to rest there in somewhere warm for um, an hour, and by which time the dough should have doubled in size, and then we do the fun, well, the extra fun part, we make the rolls. It's all fun. It's all fun. It's all this fun is double here. the fun. <laughs> double the size. So this has been resting for an hour. This is my best part, not just of cooking, but life in general. Come on, let's get a close up. I'm gonna punch this. Not that I'm aggressive, but it's just really satisfying. Are you ready? Steady, go. Oh, Look squelch. at that. It's warm, <laughs> oh, love it. So take this out. Perfect, Look at that. Oh, lovely. It's good. Mm, nice, yeah, it's lovely oh, it's warm. it's a really lovely, lovely dough. Uh, sorry, I should have floured my worktop with a flour. And now all we're going to do is give it a quick knead. And um, piece is about this big. About the size of a golf ball. Okay. And then you'll pop them here, about a centimetre apart. You don't want your piggies touching. So I've left a bit back. That is for ears, noses, tails. So what you want to do, grab a bit of dough. Mm hmm And then I'm going to fashion some little ears like this, a vague triangle, slightly curved in. That's going to go there. So my dough is a tiny bit dry and my ears and my tails and my snouts aren't sticking. So I'm going to very quickly do the wash now. This is a very simple egg wash with a bit of milk and a bit of salt. Can you go around sticking things on so we don't have another tragic case of a snoutless pig? It's very sad. I will, I will do my best. Let's put a little snout on, it was so cute. Let's stick that on there. Now I've got a kebab stick and I'm just going to skewer little holes in which we're going to rest our seeds. And these are going to be their eyes. Now, if you want your piggy eyes to look really good, because sometimes the dough subsumes these a bit, you can use cloves. My kids don't really like clovey bread. Or you can use, if you've got a nut or something like that, you can use it. I made a snake. You made a snake? Show <laughs> me the snake. The snake at the snake needs eyes. Put the snake down here. Let's give that snake some eyes. I feel like it needs a tongue as well. Yeah, what about this? Tongue? Yeah, why don't we give it a, this, a clove tongue? There we go, it's a forked tongue. So, we've got the pigs done, we've got a snake. Piggy eyes, little snouts, tails. Going to cover them for half an hour with this clean tea towel. And then we're going to pot them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 220. And then you get to eat some piggies if the snake doesn't get there first. So our sweet little piggy rolls have come out of the oven. They look delicious. Look at this one's little tail. It looks so cute. cute. So all that we need to do now, delicious hot, a bit of butter. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. Normally I'd feel bad about ripping a pig apart, but really good mm. everything mm. tastes much better pig shaped no, it's true try things at your next kids party <laughs> that would just be weird <laughs> that's what we think see mm. you later bye, bye.
This month we are talking about things we love, things we love to eat, things we love to do. Now this is one of my big loves here, Sophia, my little seven-year-old, well not so little, and her biggest love, bigger than mummy, mm. oh, is slime.